from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut Alright, so I need to go to the library to get some shark anatomy books So we're gonna go to the library uh, We can spend all day in there I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front Okay guys, so I wanted to show you what I got at the library. And this first book here is called Sharks in Question and it's the Smithsonian Answer Book. And I chose this one because it had a lot of charts in it as well as a few pictures and a bunch of facts. But I really liked um, like the breakdown of the charts and then it breaks down shark teeth and the gills and how they swim and all of that. So um, that's why I chose this one. Here's the page with the shark teeth. And it has a bunch of really great photos in it as well. So that I thought that would be great reference. And then the second book that I got is Sharks and Rays. And it's written in photography. <laughs> it's written and Oh my god. Photographed. There you go. That That's the word. Uh, by a bunch of people. So I have no idea. Um, there's probably like 10 names on the cover of that. And this one had a lot of info as well, and a lot of it was very, very informational, and there's a bunch of anatomy stuff in this one, so I really liked that one as well. And the third book I got from the library is the Encyclopedia of Sharks, and it's the updated edition, so I thought that was beneficial. And in here, this one is just chock full of charts and information, and sharks eating other sharks, and reproduction, the fins, how all the fins are shaped, all the different types of sharks you could think of are in here. Um, a lot of shark teeth, a lot of anatomy stuff, and a lot of like locations and all of that. And while we are on the book subject, I figured I would share my art book collection with you. And this first book that we're going to start with is the Colored Pencil Bible. I'm sorry, Colored Pencil Painting Bible, and this is by Aliona Nicholson. She is the um, creator of BrushandPencil.com and the touch-up texture and titanium white that I use a lot, so I will leave that linked in the video description below if you'd like to check that out. But this book is just so informational for those that are working in colored pencil. I highly recommend it, and it has been very useful for me. It takes you step by step through doing a project and a whole bunch of other like it goes through composition and color theory and all of that so that is one of my favorite art books that I like to reference this is my second favorite and it's poses for artists it's basically a giant book of drawing gestures for practice just so you can get a feel of how people are built and the skeletal structure and what they would look like in different positions and I think this is great especially for sketchbook practice I like to use that for for gesture practice and then this next book here is not officially an art book but um, Jake Parker illustrated this book and I I just really wanted to see how he kind of put a book together like the way like the compositions he chose for the words and everything and just the colors that he used. I just I really wanted to study him. So I picked this book up and it's been very, very helpful. The next book I have is, I believe, The Art of Moana. Yep. And this one is officially mine and it's just amazing. I absolutely love this book. 
And the reason why I say it's mine is because the last two are my sons that I borrow from time to time and he tends to get annoyed with me. So these Disney art of books are wonderful because they go through character design, environment design, animal design, storyboarding, and how they put it all together. And you get to see what the start was, like where they started, and then you obviously have seen the finished movie. So you get to see how they went from start to finish, and there's a bunch of, you know, brainstorming ideas and storyboarding and the things they changed and how they evolved to get to the characters where they are and the environments where they are, and it's just a great, great book. And then this next one is The Art of Finding Nemo. And this one is my favorite. I absolutely love this one. It just breaks down the characters and the environment so well. And every, um, every art piece in here, like they'll always have a name and the medium that they use. So if you were ever curious as to what medium something is, um, it's really nice to have that information available. And then, you know, it goes over the anatomy and everything. And this is my favorite spread of the whole book. This artist is amazing. And I cannot find them on social media or anything. So I'm kind of a little heartbroken about that. But um, I really, really, really like that art. And it's just really cool. It's very neat to see how, like, the beginning designing of the characters and then what they ended up with. And I also really like this book because they... Um, it kind of teaches you perspective, especially with the fish tank design, and then the perspective of the fish tank in the dentist's office and all of that, so it's just very beneficial. And this last one is The Art of Pixar, or just yeah, the complete, it's the complete Art of Disney Pixar book, and it's got almost all of the current, I think, I think Moana and Frozen might be the only ones that are not in there. And the new cars that just came out. But um, most of the good ones like Toy Story and, you know, Monsters, Inc. And A Bug's Life. Wally, e Cars. Just a really bunch of great material. And I just love seeing the art that led up to the movie. And it's it kind of, these books are great because they let you know that you don't have to be perfect on the first try. And it's nice to brainstorm and just get a feel for what you're actually trying to accomplish with where you're trying to go with your art. So I really, really like these Art of Books, and I hope you enjoyed my Art of Books collection. Hey guys, so, um, hmm, I don't even know where to start. Uh, well, um, the Tuesday that I went to the library was the last good afternoon that we've had, and that was on the 10th, and it's officially the 15th while I'm talking to you about this right now. Um, so we've had a really, really rough special needs parent week in this house and I look exactly how I feel <laughs> I'm staying up once once things calm down and um, working on uh, my shark week preparations for all my videos for shark week and I'm kind of running out of time here so I'm getting a little nervous <laughs> Um, so I hope I get it all done. I would have got it all done, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I'm having to put in extra crunch time and really, um, really work in the late hours this week. So, um, I have four videos that are almost done, so there will for sure be four. I'm hoping to have seven or eight. So depending on how the rest of this weekend and next week goes, I'm hoping to at least have seven. Um, I would like to have eight because, you know, Shark Week starts Friday to Friday, so it's eight official days. Um, so 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say right now. If uh, any other special needs parents or parents are having a rough week this week, man, you're not alone. So that's pretty much all I can say because when when you experience things that I have experienced this week, it's there's no words to describe it. So I am going to work on, I think I'm going to work on some sketchbook stuff for Shark Week. So um, I'm going to finish with some footage of that and I will see you guys in the next one and make sure you're subscribed for July 22nd and I'll see ya. Just stay brave beside.